Yo, yo, yo! Welcome back to the MMA Short Show. It's always your boy, Stephen Mousteris. And you know, I think it's time we get honest with ourselves about MMA. I mean, after watching UFC 306, you know, I come on here, share my instant reaction. I'm buzzing the entire night. I think I thought the sphere card, everything that they did with the visuals and everything was awesome. I thought majority of the fights were amazing. Sure, did the co-main event, main event kind of under-deliver, or at least maybe a little boring? Sure, I get that. But if you guys are only here for knockouts or, you know, a boxing bout or a kickboxing bout, MMA is not the sport for you, man. How many cards in a row are we going to watch where there's at least two or three snoozers out there, at least quote-unquote to the general public, where, yeah, the guy might or lady might lay on the person and just get, you know, just rack up the control time? get a dominant win, even though maybe they didn't threaten a submission or, you know, maybe didn't threaten the knockout, you know, they're, they're at least getting the job done. And yes, sure. That might not be the funnest to watch, but to sit here and not expect that out of a sport that is all the arts together and to sit here and hear people talk bad about Marab, how he wasn't busy or talk about Sean O'Malley needs to do more or Valentina needs to do more against Alexa Grasso. Like, this sport is not for you guys. There, are, There is boxing out there. There is kickboxing out there if you want excitement at all times. But when it comes to MMA, man, especially somebody like Marab, if you're fighting somebody who's quote-unquote so good at, you know, striking and a stand-up and everything as Sean O'Malley, why would you give somebody a chance in hell to even hit you if you're so good at taking a guy down and negating what they're good at? I mean, this man Marab, He's the one that's got to pay his bills. He's the one that, hey, I, I had to win 11 fights to get to this title shot. If I lose this one, I might never get it again because my style, yeah, sure, it may not be the greatest, but I'm dominating former champs back to back to back. I'm taking these guys out. This man, Sean O'Malley, who has been knocking out everybody or at least piecing up everybody, I just went out there and just completely took him out and just shut him down. But for people to sit there like Herb Dean even or all the fans to come out and say Marab was boring or Sean O'Malley should have done more, like, you guys go do it. You guys get taken down for 20 minutes, 23 minutes out of a 25-minute fight and just get grinded the entire time and try to have the energy to muster up to go out there and take somebody out like Marab, who's just, you know, super hard and super technical probably one of the hardest guys to ever hit ever or if you're Marab you go out there and go up for nothing in a title fight and your only title shot probably you're ever going to get and you want to sit there and give a guy like Sean O'Malley a chance to snipe you I mean we saw him with the with the teep kick hurt his stomach twice hurt him bad like almost could have got him out of there but for us to sit here and like even Valentina and Alexa Grasso like name a trilogy that's ever been phenomenal like especially the third fight usually these guys or ladies know each other so well This lady, Valentina Shevchenko, goes, you know what? I don't have many more fights in my career. I'm one of the greatest ever, and I lost my belt, and I won it back. I'm fighting a lady that I I got submitted by the first time, and the second time, it was a razor-close fight, became a draw. My only thing of success there, really, wasn't my striking. It was my control time on the ground. So why wouldn't I go out there and do that? Like, the fact that we sit here, I I know it's easy for me to sit here and play armchair quarterback or whatever you guys want to call it. But as we're sitting there at the couch eating our eating pizza, whatever we're doing, watching the fight in a comfortable position, for us to sit there and yell at these athletes, are you paying their bills? Are you the one that's ever going to get a title chance ever again if you lose your third straight or your second straight or if you're Marab, it's one of your only chances? Like, this is mixed martial arts, guys. If you're fighting a guy that can knock you out all day, you're going to take him down if you possess those skills. I'm sorry. You guys go out there and get punched. It's pretty evident that most of you guys have never trained that sit here and complain about that. Because I don't care how good you are. One day in the gym, you're going to get got. And that's what happens. This is the sport of mixed martial arts. So if you go out there in one of the biggest nights of your life at the Sphere and all these things, and we're complaining about a boring fight or whatever, especially in a title fight or whatever, and I've even seen people complain about the card not having knockouts or anything. Like, did you guys watch the card? I mean, how many times did we see guys on absolutely on ice look like they were about to be out of there in the Mexican spirit that night in Noche UFC of all nights they show the Mexican heart and survive and we want to sit there and complain about it those fights were electric man and then even too with mixed martial arts When these guys are able to take somebody down all day, get better, get off the ground, get up. That's how that's on the fighter. That's on the training. You need to get up as well. So like it blows my mind. I think we've gotten too accustomed to just seeing the the TikToks and the highlight reels of knockouts like Jorge Mavs with all Sugar Sean against Aljo, Francis Ngannou. We can name all these knockouts. We're so used to getting that clip that these people that sit here and just watch, you know, for general, you know, huge reasons of 
oh, it's UFC 306 card. It's UFC 300. Like, these are going to be major, major pay-per-views. Come on, guys. We got to be more realistic here, man. Like, if you're in there and you're fighting all the time and you've been in there or whatever and you're arguing, then sure, go out there and critique these guys all day. But for us to sit here and call a fighting boring or MMA is losing or the UFC is losing it, like... You guys are out of your mind. These guys are getting better and better every single day. These guys are evolving. The sport's getting crazier and crazier. These guys are so well-rounded. If you have a clear path to victory when you're in the top five, top 15, like, I'm sorry, guys. Are you guys going to yell at LeBron James if he's got a game-winning layup? Just put it in that bucket. Just put it in there. Are you going to be mad at him for just laying it in instead of doing a Tomahawk 360 dunk that wasted the time and he lost the buzzer? Like, no. So why are we mad at Marab running around? Why are we mad at Valentina for dominating a position that the girl couldn't stop her in? Like, that's the that's the opponent's fault. That's the fighter's fault. But for us to sit here and complain about it, sure, you can sit there and say you didn't like the fight. But to sit here and just absolutely dog these guys and say they're terrible and all, it just blows my mind. And it's evident. I don't think you guys like the sport. I think you guys are just here just to see knockouts and whatever. And if that's the case, just wait till the next night and just look at the TikToks. Wait till, you know, wait till whatever. Go watch past knockouts. Go do that stuff. Go watch kickboxing. Go watch boxing. But MMA is not for you. I'm telling you. And sure, it's okay to call fights boring and whatnot and the style's boring. But let's be honest here. Some of the greatest, you know, mem memories we even have in MMA, some of the greatest moments we've ever had, you know, the one of the freshest ones that come to my mind, Leon Edwards against Kamaru Usman in that second fight just a couple years ago. I mean, Usman grinding it out for, what, four and a half minutes or uh, four and a half rounds, literally four point like nine rounds. And then in that last minute, this man, Leon, he decides, you know what, I'm going to throw the one, two, same side head kick, puts him out cold. And we have a new champion, one of the greatest moments ever. I mean, if it wasn't for MMA there, if it was just a kickboxing bout or a boxing bout or a wrestling bout or something, we would not never have these moments. So for MMA, man, these are some of the greatest things ever. The Max Holloway, Justin Gaethje, like certain matchups that we see, it's as real as it gets. And that's my other thing, too, I want to say. Do you guys want it to be scripted all the time? Do you guys want it to be fake? Do you guys want it to be WWE? Like, let's be honest here. This is how you know it's not rigged, at least. Like, we should be excited that MMA, UFC, for us that love MMA more than we love football and basketball and the you know the mainstream sports we should be blessed that these guys went and just did some crazy cool thing at the sphere and be in the first you know open live you know the event ever there and it's mma it's the ufc we get to brag about that forever instead we're sitting here saying how that was terrible took away from the fights the fight sucked they weren't deserving a ufc 306 at the sphere like you guys are insane man so I really think we need to look ourselves in the mirror. And if you guys are one of the ones saying that this fight card wasn't that fun, it was boring and everything, I just I just really think that genuinely you guys do not like the sport. And I think maybe we need to find another sport. So it's always your boy, Stephen Moose. Let's go, baby. Let's go.